Hi everybody, I'm Stephen Holt and this is News for Now for Thursday, February 26th. First up the forecast, all that wind we got today, it's not going anywhere. Tomorrow expected to stay blustery. Our high temperatures will be in the low 40s. We're going to turn out to the news and an alarming new face for the coronavirus here in the United States. Health officials in California are looking into what might be the first case of community spread in the country. That means the patient hadn't traveled to any of the countries hit hard by the disease, officially known as COVID-19. She also never came into contact with any of the 59 other Americans that have gotten sick while traveling abroad. Wall Street still in a sell-off over fears the virus might hurt the global economy. The Dow dropped nearly 1,200 points today, making it the worst week for the index since the start of the Great Recession. And yes, we've still got another day to go before the weekend. Now, it's very important to note that there have been zero confirmed cases here in the tri-state, but health agencies are still taking precautions. Today, we learned that several colleges are canceling their study abroad programs. That includes NYU, Syracuse, and Seton Hall. As you can imagine, some students are pretty bummed out by the news. Yeah, I'm hoping the virus won't be such an issue anymore in Italy. <laughs> Fingers crossed. My friend was supposed to go to El Salvador for, um, they were supposed to leave on Friday, and all of a sudden it got canceled and she's like devastated. We're going to turn now to Brooklyn where two kids have been hit and killed by vehicles in just three days. This morning, a seven-year-old died after being hit by an SUV on his way to school in East New York. On Tuesday, a 10-year-old girl was run over by a school bus in the same neighborhood. In both cases, the drivers stayed at the scene but were charged with traffic infractions. Now to Long Island where Lindsay Lohan's mom appeared before a judge again. Police say Dina Lohan drove off after she rear-ended another car in Merrick last month. That driver followed her home and called police. Officers said she looked like she might have been drunk, but she refused a breathalyzer. She's pleaded not guilty, but is expected to opt for a rehab program. And we're going to end tonight with a PSA from New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio. It's a nice day to start again. Yeah, that's the mayor with rock star Billy Idol quoting his song White Wedding, aiming to get drivers to stop idling their engines. City officials want drivers to shut off their engines when they pull over and for pedestrians to call 311 and report anyone who violates the law. That's going to do it for tonight, but keep watching to see more news, features and investigations. I'm Stefan Holt. We'll see you back here tomorrow.